everybody, this is Vasco from the Angular Academy. We are going to set up a beginner-friendly Angular 2 playground. Coming right up. In order for you to try Angular 2 quickly, we are going to set up a simple playground. This playground aims at to be at the sweet spot for learning purposes for someone just starting with Angular 2, so don't use this in production. The playground starts quickly, it creates a bundle with the Angular 2 library dependencies, and then your application is recompiled each time that you save changes in a TypeScript file. So you have a fast application startup with only a few HTTP requests, and at the same time you still have a fast development turnaround. So it seemed to be a good experience for someone starting out. You can get the playground at this URL right here and you can either clone it if you're into Git or you download it as a zip file like we did here. Next, you go into the directory of the playground and having Node and NPM installed on your machine, you're going to type NPM install and this will install the playground which does not need any global dependencies. To start the playground, we just use the standard npm command npm start and the playground will be available at port 8080. Let's try it out. We can see here that when we type in the input box that change detection is working. Now take a look at the network tab. You have here a bundle containing Angular 2 RxJS that was prepared at startup time and that it will not be recalculated while we are making changes into the playground. If we change our component and we hit Ctrl S, TypeScript will be triggered and the changes will be compiled. When we refresh the browser, our changes are visible. Once Angular CLI is stable, I'm going to show you how to set up a playground using it, but right now it's still at the early stage of development. So while we don't have it, enjoy Angular 2 using ng2minimal.